Hello, my name is Erland Heinmarch from AOC Archaeology Group. We're here carrying out an uh, excavation as part of the flood alleviation program in Elgin on the site of an old mill. We were here a few weeks ago, earlier in the year, where we did a, what we call an evaluation, where we put some random trenches over this particular area where we knew in the past it was recorded there were some old mills and the evaluation found these remains that we can see before us here. Um, we have since come back and opened up the trenches to get the whole footprint of the mill. Uh, the mill itself, um, or the site itself should I say, has had a number of mills on it in the past. So the earliest mill that I know of is a 18th century tobacco mill and then we have a, a woolen mill and a cotton mill and the last mill that I know of was a sawmill. How this all fits together, whether it's just one building, one mill changing its use, or whether the building, there were various buildings on the site at the time, all doing different processes, we don't know yet. What we do have, we have this large footprint of a building, and in another trench over there, we have remains of another building. The aim, the aim of the dig is to try and sort out what this particular mill was used for, what date it is, when it was first built, when it went out to use. If there's anything that exists earlier, which there may be, we do have fake traces in the soil, there may be earlier structures. Um, we also have features within the mill itself. We have the mill laid, which has been altered over time. We have other industrial features like the kiln oven where Mikel is working. We know that the building's been extended by differences in wall construction. Um, what we will do, we'll tie all, all the evidence that we dig up, all the dating evidence from pottery finds, um, glass finds, that sort of thing, tie it all together and then we'll do historical research and see if we can piece a story together.